Hi everybody, Martin at Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying a surf candy it's just dead basic uh, pop of surf candy um, and the colour scheme I'm doing is the one that I like most for night fishing uh, for sea bass here but you can obviously adjust the colours and all that <clears throat> now I'm tying it very simply about as basically as you can um, I don't really think you need to try to be fancy with surf candies as long as you get the size and the form and the wee, the wee bit of flash and the wee bit of colour to suit the bait that you're imitating that's generally speaking enough so as always I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel get access to the online fly tying classes members only content as well as entering any of the giveaways Alternatively, you can subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos, come and watch them, like the video, share the video, watch all the way to the end, all that helps the channel to grow. So I've got my hook and my vice, this is a size 2 Gamma Katsu S10S 4H, right? it's basically the same as the SL12 short, um, really good hook. Obviously you can use whatever hook you prefer, but I like these, you've got plenty of gape, good length of shank. Now I've not got to tie in like a tinsel for a gut, a gut sack or anything here, but I'm running on my clear mono thread and I've gone up and done a couple of times. Just This just helps the resin to kind of get a grip of the shank, right, and it will help prevent any kind of rotation, especially after you've caught a few fish. Um, or if you've been out in hot and cold and you get some like expansion and contraction this helps it all to kind of key together now the first thing I want to tie in is some white super hair right. you can use supreme hair, ultra hair, whichever you prefer I just like the super hair really, I like the thickness of it and the kind of consistency now what I do is I take a bunch from the packet a full length, I don't like cutting short lengths at a time because it just ends up all messy and I just put a blob of resin in the tip cure that and that means each fly it's the same amount so I find that I get the best results I used to like try to cut it square and tie it in but I find that I, I kind of struggle to get a satisfactory small tie-in point. I just like to cut tie it in and just accept I'm going to, need to cut a wee bit of the waste away. Um, if you if you don't want to do that, don't do that. Right? If you if you like tying it square, that's fine. Um, but I find that I, I got a much neater finish. When I do this, so I've tied the white, which is obviously my main colour, or the belly, the underside, and I'm just pinching it, making sure I'm all the way around the shank. I'm just sort of tidy up that wee tie in point. Right, I'm keeping it nice and short, I'm less than an eye length back. The, <coughs> the bait in the bay here at the moment is quite small, uh, so I'm going to cut this at about 7 centimetres which is less than 3 inches right um, okay. I mean you can go even smaller but something like that's fine and as I say this is this is the colour I like at night right the it's anchovies and um, smell we smell that we have in the bay here uh, and there are sort of tan colour across the back it's kind of, but at night I want a wee bit more contrast between the top and the bottom um, I think because you've got the limited lights even if there are some artificial lights about the contrast you know the tan's a wee bit too close to the white you might as well just fish an all white fly but the darker back it still gives you that sort of bait fish contrast 
Now I like plenty of flash on this one. But again, you can tie more or less, it's up to you. I'll tie that in on the top. Couple of wraps, see how we are. I'm going to just fold that back. I've probably got eight strands here. I'll just fold it. And before I get right back, I'll just make sure it's spread across the top there, but I don't want it coming round the sides. Right, I just want to make sure that I've got flash visible all the way. And I'll just trim that as well at the moment. You can put a wee bit of moisture on it. I'll have dried off by the time you're ready. So the colour I'm using in the back is smoke. <coughs> Can I get that relatively square? And then I'll tie it in three's plenty. Make sure it's right on top. And then just the same, we'll just come in, trim that away, and I can tidy up. And I'll whip finish. That's fine. Trim that. Oops, missed one. Right, and that's, I mean, that's the tie-in, right? I mean, it doesn't get any simpler from, you know, the actual the actual fly tying point of view. You've just got the three tie-ins. Just got to make sure that that hair, the hair that's wants to be in the side that it's supposed to be on. And then you can see there, right, I've got some hair all around the shank. I'm going to turn it right, it's, it's fully covered and there's some, I mean the gap side especially has some material in there and that's quite important. Now, <coughs> you know, different people have got different ideas about what resin to use. I like to start with a thin resin because I want to make sure that when I set the shape that I'm, it's fully saturated and there's no any spaces. Right, I don't want any voids inside the body, so I like to like, turn it on its side. Maybe it's better for you if I do it that way. I turn it on its side, and just put a blob right at the front, and I'll like, press it in. Just push it. Right, this is solar res thin. And I come to the back of the, the, the hook. Right, I don't, don't go too far back. Um, you sometimes see surf candies... And if you know there'll be 10, 12, 15 mil of of resin behind the hook, don't do that, right? Um, it's no making it any more foul proof than just coming to the back of the hook, right? And it will cost you fish, right? You'll bump fish when they when they eat it. Um, I know because it's something I've done in the past, and you just let the hook up, right? Just falls away. So oh, there we go, I've got a nice wee shape, more or less right away actually. Um, but I'm just going to sort of manipulate it slightly, see how things are sitting. Maybe put that top end, I can see there's a wee bump. And again, make sure, right, make sure you've got resin in the, like below the shank in the gap side, right? Um, if you perch all the resin up on top, you'll get away with it if it's a fly that you're just casting into a bait ball and letting sink. But if you've got to strip it back at any speed, um, it can cause the fly to tumble. So, that looks no bad actually, I'll just set that. But take your time, right? If you're not happy with the shape, I'll just actually just got to tease that slightly back just to square up the, the back end there a wee bit. I mean, you don't, 
don't need to be you don't need to be as fussy as me if you don't want to be right something like that now I'm just going to let that sit, let gravity do its work let that take a shape and that to me looks nice and bait fishy so I'll make sure I'm straight coming straight back off the back end of the hook, you don't want any twist that's good set it up and can I move it as you go right don't try to cure on one side look let it rotate make it seal and then you can look kind of bake it and you see there right I, I've no I've no got a, a cylinder right it's high and it's narrow, it's like a wee knife shape is what I'm going to end up with, which is the shape of the bait, right? Um, <clears throat> you see a lot of folk going, oh, like it's simpler, if you tie it, wrap over it with the mono thread and all that, because it disappears, but honestly, like, what's to simplify, you still need to put the, the resin on and shape it, and this is fine, you know, it's no hard. Um, and you get a much, in my opinion, a much nicer fly, a much better fly if you shape it properly give my eye a wee crease and these are just 3 mil eyes on this size I'll tie also like about a, a, a 10 centimeter version, I'll put a 5 mil eye on it and I'll just position I like to do my side first see what it looks like and I'm looking at roughly like just above the hook shank and maybe an eye width back I'll put a wee blob of thin resin on top and I've got a wee bit extra just taking fix that, as you see there's a wee bit of unevenness at the back there which I would like to take away that's fine <coughs> happy with how that's sitting so I'll just stop it moving I'll get my next eye put a crease on it on the card or on the backing just set it on there and then make sure the position's the same which I'm nearly spot on for right away I just need to move it slightly I mean this is take your time right a lot of folk I mean you can do it in a single shot and all this again if you tie over the eye and everything but look like, this is still so much better than doing it with epoxy that we used to do um, <coughs> like don't, don't feel that like you need to be in a great hurry, right? You, if it takes you 15 minutes to tie a nice surf candy, that's still faster than it used to be, you know? And you don't have the, the grief for the epoxy. So we'll just set that eye where it is. And then <coughs> I'm going to come in with thick resin right the and the reason I use the thick is it levels itself and it's not going to try to wick back into the material behind what you've already coated right 
so I'm just coming along, I don't want to put a ton on right, I don't want a big fat body, I just want to sort of smooth everything out finalise my shape see how we go with that and then again just sort of I mean, take your time I'm just going to move that along I'd rather have the head slightly thicker sort of tapering to the back but again you don't need to be necessarily that fussy I just like the shape to be bait fishy you know I like it to be the shape of the bait you're tying a relatively um, imitative fly so you might as well make it the right shape I kind of, I really don't like these wee lumpy or hourglass shaped um, surf candies I know they catch fish but I mean this catches fish, it catches you know the the the, the, the round ones the round ones don't catch any more I don't think. Certainly, not in my experience, and I don't think. Uh, I mean, I just don't like the fly. You know, I don't have the confidence. I always think you should a fly. You should look at it and go, oh, "That looks great." I'll take it out of my box. And you can just turn this. You'll see the any low spots. You just address them with your bodkin, move it about. Make sure all the thread wraps and everything are well covered with that second coat. And again, <coughs> how fussy you are is up to you, you know. I know the shape I want, I'm going to get the shape I want. And if you prefer, you can use a couple of extra coats. There's nothing stopping you coming in again with like um, even some hydro or, or uh, hydro. That's the clear cure glue stuff that's no longer made bone dry, um, or whatever the thin, you know, just to just to really smooth it out and finish any low spots. But I don't. I would rather just use the thick and let it level itself. <clears throat> and if I just sit for a minute, I'll just turn that slowly. Again, like there, you might spot a thing. I'm just going to take that away, draw it around here, just help that to sort of taper into the the width of the tail there. I'll add that to the front because, as I say, I don't mind that being a bit fatter. Now again, just I've just got to let it level. Just let it let it level itself. See how it looks. Just got a wee poke. <coughs> and uh, as I say, any any low bits, low spots. You will see as you turn, it's, it's 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 quite visible when you turn the fly. You'll see like, if there's a low bit. That's it. I know that's it now. So I'll just, just turn that weight, turn that and wait. And then, when I'm happy, I'll just come in. Just move it back and forward. Keep that fly moving. Because this, it heats up. Uh, if you keep the light on one spot and that actually can contribute to um, yellowing I mean this stuff is much better than epoxy from that point of view but it can still yellow uh,
and then once it starts to sort of get a skin on it and you've stopped it moving. You're good to go. Now, this will just get a wee bit longer. I mean, the fly's basically clear anyway, so this the light's passing through. But I just want it to be fairly set. <clears throat> now, I'll trim it. I'll trim it here just quick so you can see. Usually, I like to stick them in a salon lamp and let them bake for 15 minutes or so before I do any trimming but I mean it's fine, that's set up so I'm just going to come back and I just come, look, I set my scissor basically the, the, the blade that's closest right to the the material, I set it on the back and then I just sort of taper my cut out to the end on the top then it's a bit harder to do it that way on the, on the belly so I just come in but I try to kind of mirror the same taper just come in again and meet the I like a long scissor for it and sort of meet the resin I want the taper just to start from the resin I don't want it to taper to a, an absolute point I'd like there to be some some volume at the back there something like that and there you go, that's it doddle, right it's not, not necessarily the absolute quickest fly to tie but I mean you can go and catch a hundred fish in these you know um, and, and they're they're fine. A couple of maybe bits of flash there, but that's that's okay. So there you go. That's it. Surf candy. Easy. You know, I would suggest do all the tying really, and then do all the resining, and it's a bit quicker. But look, as I say, they're very durable. Um, I mean, you don't lose them. If you don't if you don't lose them, you'll get loads and loads of fish out of them. And even when they get beat up, you can just come back in. You know, if the, if the hook's fine, I'll just come back in at night. Then you know, after a night of fishing, and I'll just come across it with some bone dry, and they're they're just like new. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it was useful. If you did, remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take thanks, guys. Bye.